This is how lactate alkalinizes your muscles. You heard that right. Not acidifies, alkalinizes your muscles. I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn. I have a PhD in nutritional sciences, and you are watching a masterclass with Master John energy metabolism lesson. This is a course where we break down the biochemistry of how we use the energy in food to fuel all the important processes in our body that contribute to our wellness, performance, and longevity. And in this lesson, we're going to look at the biochemistry of how lactate is alkalinizing. You may have heard that lactate is something that is produced when our muscles make lactic acid when we're exercising, that that acidifies our muscles and contributes to fatigue, failure, and delayed onset muscle soreness. Or you may have heard the arguments against this. There are many well-known people who have been spending a long time, big parts of their career, countering this narrative like Andy Galpin. You may have heard, if you're deep in the science, you may have read the work of George Brooks. We're going to take a deep look into the biochemistry. We're going to learn how we do not make lactic acid in our metabolism. We make lactate. When we make lactate, it is alkalinizing. We're going to look at how some of the presentations in biochemistry textbooks, on the one hand, give us everything that we need to understand why it is lactate that we make and not lactic acid, that we never make lactic acid in our metabolism. But on the other hand, do not equip us very well to understand what actually is the source of acidity in exercising skeletal muscle or in metabolism in general, because they don't put enough emphasis on acid-base balance to bother showing you with completeness where all the protons, which are the cause of acidity, are going in the chemical reactions. So we're going to take a look at the Berg and Leninger presentations of glycolysis to see where they go wrong in equipping us with the knowledge we need to understand acid-base balance during exercise and finally, we're going to end with some practical implications. We'll talk about what actually does cause fatigue in exercise skeletal muscle and exercising skeletal muscle. And we will also look at the research on lactate supplements briefly to see how we can leverage what we learn in this biochemistry towards how we should interpret the human trials with lactate supplements in the context of of other ways that we could leverage nutrition and supplementation towards improving exercise performance.